Hello and welcome back to Path of Exile. We are halfway through Act 7 with our Necromancer, working our way up to maps, uh, trying to add her to our list of characters that we can uh, do maps with. So let's uh, get right into the action here, start moving our way through the rest of the act so that we can uh, try to get through as much of this as we can. Uh, before we get too far into the video, I'd like to ask you to help us reach our next major channel milestone of 10,000 subscribers. You can all remember only goes up if you actually press the button, so go ahead and do that now. Help us out with that. Press the like button to spread the video out to more people so that they can have a chance to subscribe as well. And then after you're finished watching this video, we have more than 1,600 other videos on the channel that uh, are all very different. Well, I don't say all very different, but I play a lot of different games, so you're going to find something over there that's interesting to you. Be sure to head over to the channel when, we're done, when you're done watching this one and go find something else to watch because there'll be something there for you. All right, sorry about that. Uh, let me see here. I feel like my camera is still having an... Yeah, the low light compensation didn't actually turn off. I have this irritating setting on my com on my camera that has a that's set by default to have low light compensation, and it causes graphical lag, or camera lag. It, ca it causes lag with the camera. Because it has to do some processing to make it do that. I don't really need it, because I have, I have enough light in here. And I always have to remember to turn it off. And I did. I did go in there, and I thought I clicked the checkbox to turn it off, but it didn't actually turn off, so I had to go back and do it again. So that's why I don't make it. Jeez, this guy's got, like, a lot of... A lot of weapons. Oh, that's right, we changed her. I gotta remember to change her, that I changed all the stuff out. Did I swap out some gear? I don't know why my, um, Herald of Purity turned off. That's kind of funny. Alright, I'm... I think I'm... Uh, yeah, we kind of want to do some leveling up here. I try to stay... I try to stay right around two levels under where we where we are so yeah i guess we can probably just breeze through this like once we get down to about three levels below then i should probably really start focusing on you know, killing things to catch up but two levels isn't isn't bad two levels isn't bad at all so yeah i think that'll be my rule moving forward uh, usually the boss or boss for this level is on this side of the map but as usual when i say that it decides to swap it over to the other side, so whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll continue swinging around and hopefully finding what we're looking for. Grabbing all these fireflies, and then we have a uh, like a we have a boss monster to kill. There it is. We have a boss monster to kill here. So let's head into the den of despair. Start killing Rookful, the mother of despair. Trying to focus. focus, focus. I'm having a really hard. Whoa, 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 whoa! What am I? What am I getting hit by? All right, I can't. I gotta. I gotta pay more attention to myself. Then you're trying to burn her down, but if I die in the process, that doesn't really help, does it? Rough call. That takes care of her. And I'm wasting a bunch of time screwing around trying to kill stuff that I don't really necessarily need to kill. Like, once we get to three levels down, I should I, I need to start paying a little bit more attention to killing stuff, but... Okay, well. um, Alright, let's see. I like having Soul of the Brine King and Soul of Abarath, because that takes care of some of the damage over time crap, and the freezing and all that stuff. Obviously, we have to wait until we get to maps before that turns, before the, the extra little things turn on, but... My help uh, is yours. Yeah, we'll get there. Let's see. Why did we pick this up? Oh, because it was a green. Blood bond bone armor. Um. Why do? Wow. I am not paying attention. I guess. Okay. And then. So yeah, that's not even gonna kind of. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can pop one of these on there and see what we get, but I don't really see this. Because minions have better life and regeneration and all that stuff. Like, the what we're wearing right now is pretty much the best option, I think. Oh, we have a skill point I haven't spent. How did I manage to do that? So... We finished up over here. 
uh, let me, as usual, I forgot to bring up my, I forgot to bring up my skill tree for this. So let's, uh, let's bring that up. I think we were up in 60. Yeah. So this one actually doesn't have us grabbing the minion defense mastery over here. It actually wants us to come over here and get our golem life and Oh, we were working on uh, this part over here last time. Okay, so now that we finished this up, we can start heading over here towards getting our extra golem, which will be nice. Um, Greetings. So now we can sell this, because, I mean, why does it require such a high dexterity? Regardless, it's not. A, it doesn't help with our minion stuff, so I'm not really interested in holding on to it. Dude. Seriously? Greetings. I click the button, and then I click the button. I'm really tired of games not responding to my button clicks. It's really annoying. Elite Dangerous has a problem with the menu system that does that. It really gets on my nerves. Okay. Now we need to head back over here. Do the little... Find that shrine for Groost. Time. Stop wasting time. Move. Get off the train. Do. Uh, I think it's gonna be this way. Get our summons up. I guess not. Got ourselves a nice orb of regret out of that, though. Nice. Okay, just gotta keep it moving. Try not to spend too much time screwing around. Oh, there's our there's our shrine that we need to do. Oh my god, just let me up on the frickin' hill! I didn't like you very much, Ghost, but don't feel bad. I don't really like anybody. Okay, off we go. So, once we start getting to level 54, we really gotta start focusing on actually slowing down a little bit and killing stuff. Just so we can keep pace with the levels. Okay. So, here we go. Now we need to. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. We're already. Excuse me, we're already most of the way to level 52. mosey our way through this map let the minions kill things as we run by get my absolution up that'll help with the killing things faster when I'm ready and not before right just slowly moseying our way through this not interested in doing your little side questy thing. Do, do, do. So we're still continuing to work our way over towards Golem Day, Golem Time. So the next few levels that we get, we'll be able to do that. Get our get an extra Golem up. Um, I'm not sure which Golem we're gonna get. As far as I'm aware, the Golem effects do not stack. I don't think they stack. So it might make sense to grab one of the other kinds of Golems. Because having two carrion golems, um, I don't think actually does anything for me. So we are 52. There's no sense in wasting time in this area. I'm sitting here moving slow for no reason. Maybe we need to go around and get in like the middle of this area over here. So let's see if we can hop over here and find an opening. Because I think we're trying to get up into that area. As usual, the entrance eludes me. As usual, the entrance will lose. There, there it is. Alright, cool. 
So hopefully we can talk to Yina here. We'll run back. I always run back to town real quick before we head in here just to empty out my inventory and make sure we're not holding on to anything extra. I'm just, I'm a big fan of keeping my inventory as clear as possible. So oh yeah, and there's a couple of quest rewards that we get, so there's that too. Normally stop back I over here to grab some stuff. We have, it's another minion related thing here, so I don't know that it necessarily makes sense to hold on to, to grab this, whatever it's going to be, but uh, we'll compare it. Strength and dexterity, dexterity, spell damage. I mean, I know we could change it with the with some chaos orbs, but Hello. it's just it's not worth it. All right, so we'll do that. Come over here and do that. Got a skill point for that, so we can start getting some buffs on the golems. And then we're working towards this golem commander. It's going to give us a maximum summon golems of plus one. And then they do actually want us to take this. They do actually want us to take the plus eight. Wait, we already got that one. Did they want us to unspec something up? Whatever. I don't know. A lot of these guys will have you spend a skill point at a certain at a certain part of your leveling experience, and then they want you to use uh, they want to use a passive use one of your passive respec points to pull it back out. And I'm like, why don't you just like just give me the the, the end, work me towards the end state. Don't give me things temporarily during the leveling campaign and then ask me to waste respec points pulling it back. I'm not a fan of respec. Like, just put me on the tree to get me where I'm trying to go, please. So we're still 54. Or the, the level here is still 54, so we're just going to go ahead and try to burn our way through this. This area can get, uh, this map can get pretty um, deadly. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that can impair your movement here and then also just high DPS stuff. So I generally do try to burn my way through this map as quickly as I can. It's very easy to get bogged down with the insane number of monsters that are here. A lot of them have movement impairing effects that will uh, get you stuck in one place and then they and then they burn you down really quick. So I'm glad we don't really need to stop here at the level because I kind of want to just hurry up and get through the area as quick as I can. Finally, come on! Oh my god, let me through the door! No, oh, no, no, come on. I'm not a big fan of mazes and puzzles and like that kind of stuff. Okay, so we got to get through two more two more doors and then we'll be able to get to the boss. Come through, come through. Oh, that way, this way. You see how my you see how my energy shield is spiking a lot it's because this is a very this actually is a, a relatively dangerous area. Like I know it's not difficult. Anybody who plays this game regularly knows that this area is not. Really difficult, but compared to some of the other areas that you go through, it's a little bit, you gotta you got pay a little bit more attention. Not necessarily, but it, the thing, the thing that, like, the thing that irritates me about this game in general is just, there's a lot of luck. There's a lot of luck for this game when it comes to things in this game. Not just in the RNG of what you might find, or chaos orbs working in your favor, or, you know, whatever. Also, just you know, you get unlucky, you get stuck in the wrong part, and you get stuck in the wrong location with the wrong monsters around you, and there's just no getting out of it. You're gonna die. It's been pre once once you get into a certain situation, it's preordained that you're just dead. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. I like I couldn't have timed that better. This is what I'm talking about. This right here is what irritates me about the game because this is this this highlights the. The thing that makes me not want to play this game, and it's the thing that makes me really look forward to Path of Exile 2, because this has, supposed, has supposedly been more or less minimized in that game, where you just get unlucky, and a, con a confluence of bad things ends up getting you, and you're just done. And there's nothing you can do about it, because there's just the, the game is set up in a way where if you haven't done anal retentive amounts of pre-planning to make sure that this can't happen to your character, it's going to happen. 
I can't stand games like that. Games like that really irritate me. They, like, games should be based off of skill. My ability to do things. It shouldn't be based off of whether I had the foresight to prepare for this eventuality. I, I just... I, I disagree with that that design philosophy. So I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Path of Exile 2. It kind of sucks that that game appears like it's going to be a lot slower in the, as far as like the gameplay goes, because it's nice to be able to just kind of zip around the maps with this, but at the same time, if it means, if, if, I, if that's the trade-off I have to make to have it so that, you know, if I die, it's actually my fault and not just bad effing luck, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Because I don't, I don't like games where, and especially because, you know, there's, there's a penalty for dying in this game. Wait, was that the... Is this the... Wait, what the hell? Oh, I forgot that the... Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I forgot that it respawns you on the other side of the door. It doesn't spawn you on the side of the door of the map that you're on already. That's... I, that's, that's, that's really irritating. I forgot that that's a thing. It, <laughs> because on... On a lot of on some of the maps, you actually spawn back in the area that you that you died. Don't kill me, please. You spawn back in the area that you died in. But on this on this on some of these maps, like this one, it spawns you back on the other side of the door. And if you're not paying attention, you know, like say you're in the middle of a rant about how you don't like certain ways that things work, and then you forget about that and you waste a bunch of time running through an area you already completed. Oh my God! Let me through the let me through that door, and then the thing doesn't respond. Let see. This is what I'm talking about. This area is just you. You, you can't dwell here. You got to just hurry up and get through it. Um, so, but yeah, that that is that perfectly highlights the primary thing about this game that just irritates me to no end. Random deaths that can't that can't really be prevented unless you have specifically prepared for the thing that in, that in, that ended up killing you. And if you don't know that it's coming. Or you just, you know, being forced to stop every... I don't want to have to stop to plan through things. Like, that's not that's not fun to me. I want to play the game. I want to get in there, fight stuff, get through the levels. You know, end game content. Sure, that should that should require some... That should require some planning and forethought and, you know, like raids and stuff in World of Warcraft. That's reasonable to expect people to have to sit down and, hey... Let's analyze this, and like, because it's in-game content. It's the it's the top-tier hardcore stuff that people want to do. General general leveling and general gameplay, and like, I, I I believe like a lot of people got really mad when World of Warcraft went a more casual direction, and I'm like, no, that was the best decision that they ever made. Now, I think they went a little too far on the. I, I think they went a little too far as far as the end game content. I think that I think that I, I'm a big fan of providing options to people. Um, if people, there should be you, you want to make your game as approachable to everybody as possible, and that means that was my fault. I'm, it's hard to talk and focus on this stuff at the same time. That that was my fault. I will take responsibility when I screw things up. That was me. I'm not paying attention. I didn't stay out of the purple stuff, and that was my fault. Um, I be, like games should provide you with options. It should be, games should be designed in a way that provides you the option of difficulty. It should never be required, right? To like just to play the game in general. It should, difficulty should never ever ever be required to play the game. There should be the general game itself should be approachable by everybody. Like everybody should be able to play the, ba the, the basic functions of the game. And then if you prefer to participate in things that are hard, then you go participate in those hard things. That way, the people who want to just play the game as a casual player and wants to just enjoy the game can do that. And then those people who are seeking achievement and want to have something that's difficult and rewarding and from that point of view have the option to go do that. And the thing that, the thing that uh, you know, just frustrates me about this game is that you can't just hop into this game and, and have fun. You have to do research. You have to do this. You have to do that. You can't just come in as a casual player and be able to just, you know, get through the game. 
I don't expect to be able to go, you know, defeat uber bosses without, you know, good preparation, knowing the fight, um, you know, making sure I'm geared for that. Like, I don't expect that. But I should be able to get all the way through the campaign without having to use a guide, without having to do any kind of extra effort, without having to worry about my gear or making sure I have enough health or, you know, all the little things that you're that the game re this game requires you to do uh, if you want to make it to the end, even just to the end of the campaign for most of the characters. Like, I, I, I could probably, you could probably, you could probably, with this build here, probably figure it out because you have minions to absorb some of the mistakes. But for most of the other stuff, you actually have to make sure that you're get it, picking the right skills and getting the enough life and like it's, in the I just I don't like I don't like that approach Good to goodbye options are great Good to see you. but at the same time you know there needs to be some there needs to be a little bit of wiggle room to be able to <laughs> to be able to make some mistakes and not make it so punishing that you just can't continue to play but you know my my rant here is mostly just I don't like games that make it that make it so that uh, you know bad luck just screws you over. I don't like that. I'm, I, I just I strongly disagree with that design philosophy because I know that you know in real life bad things happen. But as I've said in multiple videos recently, because I I've, I've played Star Trekker and it kind of irritated me. I don't play games for realism mostly. I, like if I play a simulator. Like an actual simulator, I'm playing it because I want the realism. But if I'm playing a game, I'm playing a game because I want to escape reality. I want to escape, escape the troubles of the world. I'm not looking for more difficulty. There's enough of that in my real life. I don't need it in my video games. So it's super frustrating, especially when something happens that's just completely out of your control. You get unlucky, bad roll of the dice, and then you're just dead. And if this game didn't like, if this game didn't have an experience point penalty after the first act, and then especially once you get into maps, like when I die with my level 93 flicker strike guy, that's a crushing death for me. That is a crushing death for me because it takes forever to level that guy at all. Like it's it's super annoying and frustrating. Many many maps worth of time and effort just get wiped away because you died. I know you're mostly looking for gear, but at the same time, you know, I kind of want to level my character up, get him to 100 and finish him off and fin have him finished, you know, like, come on. So anyways, enough ranting about all of that stuff. We're here in Sarn where uh, the next video will be hopefully the entire first half of Act 8. Get that done and then uh, be done for the day. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you did to spread it out to more people. Subscribe to get to, to help us get to 10,000 subscribers. Join the channel as a member if you'd like to get early access to videos or, you know, a couple of other perks that are available depending on what you choose. Or you can just use YouTube's version of a tip with the thanks button. So again, thank you very much for this, uh, for watching this episode of Path of Exile. Be sure to come back for the next installment of our adventure and I'll see you then.